Shalom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm Israel Christy Leary. Welcome to Green Pastures, especially this segment, Wisdom Caps. We're about closing. We're about rounding off this particular book. I wrote many years that to the uh, seven pillars of wisdom. And um, we are trying to look at the words of wisdom that the Lord has spoken to us in the book of Proverbs, verse 25. No, chapter 25. And today we are focusing on verses 27 to 28. I read, It is not good to eat much honey. So to seek one's own glory is not glory. Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. Wow, what a word of wisdom. The wisdom here is that we must be under control. Don't lose control. Ensure your life is under control. It is pertinent to note today that many people are actually out of control, even in the house of God. Many find it difficult to obey rules and regulations, even in the church of God. When you look at our society today, we have many law breakers. Every law that the government makes, traffic law, whatever law, they are looking for how to break them. And unfortunately, this same Mr. Menor is finding his way to the house of God. But you see, coming to the church without conforming to the law and order of the Lord of the church will attract no blessing. That's why many people go to church and rather than being blessed, they went back home with curses. When you fail to obey the laws of God, it will produce curses and brick walls. For those who come to church to display their glory, Proverbs 25, verse 27b says, It is not good for men to search their own glory. The key here is that every man must have rule of his own spirit. That is verse 28. To have rule over your spirit is to keep your passion under control and exact discipline. Like Paul will say, I keep my body under. I pomel my body so that when I've gained others, I will not be a castaway. It means to have rule over your spirit, to keep your passions under an exact discipline on yourself. You see, no man has control over his own spirit until, take note of this, he controls his own habits, his own thoughts, his own lips, his own motion, his appetite and passions. Proverbs 25 verse 28 compares the man who has no rule over his own spirit to a city that is broken down without war. Such a city is vulnerable. To all manners of attack and troubles. The big question today is how high are your walls? In and out of the house of God. Do you have yourself under control? You know, in the past few weeks, we've been looking at the wisdom that we need to search out. And there are about nine of them that are called the nine rules for wise living. In Proverbs 25, verses 1 to 28, they have one, be holy. Two, be humble. Three, be honorable or cautious. Four, use words rightly. Five, be moderate in every good thing. Six, do not be wicked. Seven, be kind-hearted or generous. Eight, maintain your integrity. And nine, be under control. Don't lose control. For those of you who have been following me on this study for the past few months, let me leave you with what I call a simple assignment. Will you please be able to fish out the seven pillars of wisdom from these nine principles above? I wish you best of luck. Enjoy your week. Mm -hmm.